Isomerasa. Friends, this video is about structural isomerism in coordination compounds. Friends, I have already uploaded some videos about coordination compounds. They are helpful for all chemistry students, especially for class 12 students, both NCRT and CBSE. Please watch those videos and please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get notification regarding new videos. Okay friends, let us come to today's topic, structural isomerism. Basically, isomers are the compounds which have same molecular formula but have different arrangement of the atoms. Due to this difference in the arrangement of the atoms or difference in the bonds, they have different chemical and physical properties. In case of coordination compounds, we can classify isomerism into two principal categories, stereoisomerism and structural isomerism. In case of stereoisomers, these complexes have same chemical formula and same chemical bonds, but they have different spatial arrangement of the atoms. But structural isomers have same chemical formula, but they have different chemical bonds between the atoms of the coordination complexes. Okay friends, let us consider the classification of structural isomerism. We can divide the structural isomerism into four different categories, namely ionization isomerism, solvate isomerism, linkage isomerism and coordination isomerism. Let us take one by one. First one, ionization isomerism. Here, in case of ionization isomerism, two or more compounds have same molecular formula, but they ionize us to give different ions. If you consider two compounds with same molecular formula, CO, NH3, 5 times, Br, SO4, and CO NH3 5 times SO4 Br. CO NH3 5 times Br SO4. Here both the compounds have same molecular formula, but if we ionize if we consider the ionization reaction of these two coordination complexes, we get different ions. This CONH3 5 times BrSO4 will ionize us to give CONH3 5 times Br2 plus and SO4 2 minus. But this complex CONH3 5 times SO4 Br will ionize us to give CONH3 5 SO4 plus 1, 1 plus and Br minus. This is ion ionization isomerism. Here, the counter ions present in the coordination complexes can act as a potential ligand. This SO4 or Br, if they are um, present as the counter ions, they can also act as potential ligand. So, they displace the ligand present in the coordination sphere. Here SO4 can act as a potential ligand also. So it can displace Br and can form this complex CONH3 5 SO4 Br. But Br also a potential ligand. So these two complexes have their own stability. These type of complexes having same molecular formula but they ionize us to give different ions. These type of complexes are called ionization isomers and the phenomena is ionization isomerism. It is just about the exchange of the ions between coordination sphere and ionization sphere. Then let us consider solvate isomerism. Solvate isomerism is similar as ionization isomerism but it is about the Solvent molecules acting as ligands. Here, if solvent is water, then we call this isomerism as hydrate isomerism also. Let me consider example. CrH2O6 times Cl3. And CrH2 
H2O five times Cl Cl2 H2O. These two are solvent isomers. Here, this solvent isomerism is about the number of solvent molecules acting as ligands. Here, six water molecules are acting as ligands, but in this complex, only five water molecules are acting as ligands. This water molecule is present as free solvent molecule or sometimes we call this water molecule as water of hydration. CrH2O6, H2O5 plus 1, Cl3, Cl1 plus Cl2. So totally uh, the molecular formula of both the complex is same but they have different number of solvent molecules acting as ligands. If the solvent is water, then we call it as hydrate isomerism. Then we call it as hydrate isomerism. These are examples for hydrate isomers or solvent isomers. Then let us consider linkage isomerism. Linkage isomerism is exhibited by the coordination complexes containing ambidentate ligand. Ambidentate ligand means Unidentate ligands which ligands through two different atoms. For example, NO2 minus. NO2 minus. This ligand can uh, donate a pair of electrons from nitrogen or it can form coordinate bonds, bond with the central metal atom through nitrogen and oxygen. So, in case of linkage isomerism, this uh, linkage isomerism is exhibited by the complexes containing Ambidentate ligand. Let me consider an example. CO NH3 5 times NO2 Cl2. CO NH3 5 times NO2 Cl2 and CO NH3 5 times O NO Cl2. These two are linkage isomers. Molecular formula is same but the difference is here this NO2 nitrite ligand is make coordinate bond with the central metal atom through nitrogen but here it ligands through oxygen. So the physical properties are different whereas here uh, if you consider this complex it is red in color here. NH3, uh, when uh, nitrito N is a ligand, then it is yellow in color. It is yellow in color. Due to the difference in the uh, chemical bonds, their physical and chemical properties are also different. So, it is about linkage isomerism. Here, the main thing is about the ambidentate ligands. You can consider NO2 minus or SCN minus etc. Then coordination isomerism. In case of coordination isomerism, this type of isomerism arises from the interchange of the ligands between cationic and anionic entities containing different metal, central metal ions. If you consider an example, CO. NH3 6 times Cr Cn 6 times and Cr NH3 6 times Co Cn 6 times. Here just interchange of the ligands is taking place. In this complex 6 NH3 ligands are attached with the cobalt but here all the 6 uh, ammonia NH3 ligands are attached with the chromium. Similarly, CN ligands are attached with chromium. Here they are attached with cobalt. This type of isomerism is called coordination isomerism. It arises from the interchange of the ligands between the cationic and anionic entities of different central metal ions. So friends, hope all these uh, uh, types of isomerism are clear to you. Here, 
ionization isomerism it is exhibited by the complexes containing the counter ions which can act as potential ligands it is just interchange of the ions between coordination sphere and ionization sphere just br and so forth this type of isomer isomerism is ionization isomerism in case of solvent isomerism it is about the number of solvent molecules acting as ligands here both the complexes have same molecular formula but six water molecules are acting as ligands here only five then linkage isomerism here amine identity ligands ligands through two different atoms so the complexes having same molecular formula may have different chemical bonds between the central metal atom and the donor atom of the ligand here nitrogen makes a bond with cobalt here oxygen and their physical properties also different from each other then coordination isomerism it is just interchange of the ligands between the cationic and anionic entities friends one thing you have to remember is here i am considering only two coordination complexes to ex to explain isomerism but with the same molecular formula you can write more than two examples or two more than two isomers so you can write in the examination or you can practice that also and whenever you are writing examples for isomers you have to write minimum two complexes because if in um, examination uh, the question in question they have mentioned as um, write any one example then some students write only uh, formula of only one complex but please remember isomers means minimum two complexes must be that hope this structural isomerism is clear to you please write your opinion about this video in the comment section and if you have any doubts about this uh, types of isomerism or examples please write your doubts in the comment section i will try to solve your doubts and please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry please like this video and share this video with your friends very soon i will upload a video about stereoisomerism thank you